So I know some of you in your Wireshark profiles like to see TCP and UDP ports right next to the IP address that you're looking at. Now that can make things a little faster for you instead of looking over at the information view, but just to see those port numbers right next to the IP. So I wanna show you how you can do that to add that as a column, but also to customize it so you can see it for both UDP and TCP. So check it out. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add those two columns. So if you're just on the default profile or maybe a profile you don't have this set up on just yet, take this for example. If I see DNS, this is great, but I don't see a port number here that it's using. Uh, TCP, I do see those ports, but I don't always see that for every protocol. So that's why you'd wanna add it. So let's go ahead and click this first packet all I did was just open up Wireshark and went out to Google. So you can just simulate this on your own with whatever trace file you have. So if I come over here to the detail view, I'm just going to come down here to port, source port. I'm just literally physically gonna drag this upstairs and drop it next to source. And then, oops, went over to the left there. I'm just gonna reposition that. Then I'm gonna take destination port and drop it upstairs next to destination. Now I've got source port and destination port, but check this out. This only works for UDP because I set it for UDP. This is a U user datagram protocol source and destination port. As soon as I get down to any TCP based protocols, no dice, not gonna see the port numbers. So how can I change this? Well, if I come up to that column header, this is where I can right click source port and I'm gonna come down to edit column, all right? So if I look in here, I can see that the fields that are gonna be displayed, this one just shows me UDP source port. Well, what I can do is I can say or tcp.source port. Okay, let that turn green, say okay. Now this is going to show for the TCP source ports. And if I come over here to destination port, right click, edit column, I wanna do this for UDP dest port or TCP DST port. Let that turn green, say okay. And now that's gonna show me the port numbers in a column for UDP protocols or TCP protocols. So that's just a quick tip for you for how to add those columns and also how to edit them to show more than one field. Hope this is useful for speeding up your troubleshooting. Take care, packet people. I'll see you again. <laughs>